Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we got some news about uh, what's gonna happen for this week. So this Friday you guys will be able to challenge the Tower of Lizard Valid. So uh, this is the Valkyrie Profile event. Here's Le Lizard Valid. Be aware of his multiple elemental magic attacks, Kupo. Try using the Alchemy Tome before his HP goes below 60%. Maybe we can nuke him down. And you can reduce his attack and magic power, Kupo. So a little bit like the um, the Great Count, you're going to be able to break the attack and magic. Probably not the defense and spirit, but uh, we're going to see what we can get from here. So, mission rewards. We get the Angel Slayer, which is a 180 attack great sword. Uh, no, 180 attack sword, sorry, and it's a two-handed weapon. So, uh, the Angel Slayer, what it does, randomly reduces physical damage. Basically, when you have a, a, a sword, you have a range of damage from, let's say, 100 to 125, I think, or that's the great swords. And the two-handed weapons, the range is higher. So, basically, what it does, this one, uh, your sword has a range from 1% damage to 100% damage. So, basically, when you hit... Every time you hit with the sword, uh, the damage is always different, regardless of your uh, character. If it's the same equipment and everything, you can hit for, let's say, 45,000 one turn. Then the other turn, auto attack, you can hit for 33,000. Basically, it's the variance on the weapon. So the higher the range is, the more damage you're going to do. So basically, this one, uh, almost like fixed dice, you can get the low hand of damage, which is 1%, or the high end of damage, which is 100%. Uh, not that crazy, they could have made it a little bit better, but that's why the sword is a two-handed weapon and it's a 180 attack. Basically, because if you get the highest damage uh, on it, you can deal out a lot of damage, obviously. So, uh, this is the explanation for the sword. Uh, if you do the, uh, that's when you complete the quest. If you do no items, you basically get a uh, 10,000 coins for the raids. And evoke an Esper two times or more, you get two rare summon tickets, which we always want. And defeat Lizard Valid with a limit burst. We're going to bring our friend EO, maybe. And uh, you get a 5% Moogle, which is really, really cool. So this is going to be live this Friday, uh, basically on the 2nd of November. Because it's already November and good units are coming really, really soon. So, moving on to the next one. Also on Friday... You guys will be able to uh, get a new King Mog, and right here you guys can see we will be able to obtain a 5-star Select Summon Ticket, which is always great. So this one comes with the Final Fantasy Type-0, uh, the Clash of Big Bridge, on Big Bridge, sorry, it's an event dungeon. Like I said, it's a King Mog event, and we're gonna go over the stuff that we can get. So obviously, Beginner's Quest, when you finish, you get a Rare Summon Ticket, uh, the initial one. So intro, intro quest or uh, intermediate quest, sorry. Uh, knowing tags, you get 200. Advanced, you get 300. Pro, you get 500. Elite, 500 Lapis, which is always great. And Legendary, you get 5,000 upon first time clear. Then, right here in the King Mog, obviously you guys will be able to get your 5-star select 7 ticket. Hopefully this one is going to be 1,000 and not f uh, 150,000. But we're going to see... Uh, how much currency we need to get it for. Then we're going to be able to get 4 star uh, uh, four star summon tickets. Uh, also, we're going to be able to get some material for our characters. Bushido Blade is going to be up. 75 attack katana with man eater, which is always useful, especially for new players. This is really, really good, so get it. Then we're going to be able to get the M-Tech 2 Prime, which is a gun. 60 attack with MP 10% ice elemental on it. Could be useful, you never know. Then uh, Academia Support Attack boosts HP by 10%, Attack and Magic by 5%. Like I said, if you guys are newer comer to the game or newer players, these things are actually really, really good for you to start off the game. So don't skip on them. If you're a newer player, get these things because this is really, really good. Then, obviously, 5 star select summon ticket. And these are going to be the bonus units we're going to be able to fight to basically get more currency in the fight. So the Golden Bomb and the Hell Diver. Let's go over the um, character bonus. So right here we're going to have a Type 0 uh, banner. And we're going to go over the characters in a short period of time. So these are going to be the units that we're going to be used uh, as the bonus units. These two right here are going to be the 5 to 7 star units. And uh, yeah, let's go over them right now. Boom! So, featured summon, type 0, Final Fantasy. Uh, here's the character we're going to be able to get. Card uh, Cater is going to be our 3-star going into 5-star. 
Deuce is going to be our four star going to six stars, and we're going to have two five star going to seven star with Machina and Kur Kurasame. So we're going to go over their stuff right here. Uh, here's the way it's going to work with the step up. You guys will be able to do it once. So you're going to have the Machina step up and the Kurasame step up. Limited to one player, to one per player, sorry. So uh, they could have done it like the way they always did, especially when they have two five star units. Just do one full step and you're guaranteed one of them at the end. But no, they decided to do it this way, separate it. So uh, you can do your first summon for 500 Lapis and basically have a 1.5 times rate up. Then your second step is going to be two summons for 1000 Lapis. You get a 5% Moogle. Step three, the the good old 70% chance to get a blue crystal uh, summon ticket for 1,500 lapis and that's 4 summons. On step 4, 3,000 lapis, you do 6 summons and you get a 10% Moogle. And the last step, you basically get a 10 plus 1 for 5,000 lapis and you have 5 times rate up on uh, the rainbow drops. Basically this thing's is going to be 11,000 lapis and you can only do it once. Uh, I really, really would have liked them to basically put them in one single banner and at the end you're guaranteed one of the two. But you know, that's the way they wanted to do. I don't think they want to show much love to their Type 0 characters, but uh, you know what? We're going to take it. We're going to see how good they are. So, first one, Machina, which is our 5 star going to 7 star, like I said before, uh, is a dual wielder uh, character. And we're going to go over his things right now. So his Trust Master, Opposition, boost own attack, defense, magic, and spirit at the beginning of the battle. Or after being revived, boost attack when equipped with a sword. And boost HP and attack when equipped with clothes. So not bad at all. And the Super Trust Master is actually really, really nice. Excalibur, uh, one attack. Uh, it's a sword. Attack 163, sorry. Enables dual wield and can equip two of any one-handed weapon. So this is actually really, really nice. Uh, really nice sword. So if you guys get four of them, go for it. Uh, this is actually really, really good. And uh, we're going to go over the featured abilities. So Rush Blade, deal partial and mitigated damage to one enemy. Uh, Elemental Eager, damage and reduce fire, ice, lightning, resistance for one enemy. I think that's 60%. So the second you imperil, a little bit like uh, 7 does with her uh, awakened abilities. So this thing is actually really, really nice. And power of the LC, boost attack by 50% and boost LB gauge fill rate. So not bad at all, Mr. Machina. We're going to go over Kurasami. Basically, he's an hybrid damage dealer. So you guys want to build his attack and magic as much as possible to dish out all kinds of damage. Obviously, you want more magic. So we're going to go over Stress Master, uh, Ice Blade Hilt, MP, 50, Attack, 40, Magic, 40, and boost Ice Resistance by 50%. It's an accessory and it's really, really good, guys, for your hybrid damage dealers. Attack and magic 40 plus the mp50 is actually really really nice it's super trust master ice blade imuro attack 130 it's a sword magic 162 and ice elemental on it so if you guys want to chain them this is really nice if i'm not mistaken he has a move where he's going to chain with quick hit so if you guys want to chain with uh the boy Tetis, you guys can do it. Uh, then we're going to go over his featured ability. So Diamond Rain, that's when he's 7 star. Ice damage to all enemies. Zeken, sudden downpour, damage one enemy. And double Zeken, basically you can able, uh, you can use two Zeken move per turn. So this is really, really nice. It's basically like Yo or a quick combo and all these stuff where you're actually being able to use two moves per turn. So basically that's a new type. If you don't have dual wield, you just cast two moves to chain on the same turn. Then... We're going to have Deuce, which is our 4 star going to 6 stars. We're not going to go over her stuff because it's not that great, but her TM is actually really, really nice. Boost magic by 40% and fire resistance by 50%. This thing is actually really, really nice. So if you guys get plenty of her, go for that TMR because it's really, really good. And we're going to finish with our 3 star going to 5 star Cater. Her Trust Master is not that bad. Boost attack and magic by 20%. So if you guys are lacking these things where you can actually build up that uh, damage for your hybrid damage dealers. If you don't have too many of uh, those materials, go for this one because this is actually really, really nice. 20% to attack and magic is really good. But obviously you guys know we have uh, of um, the things that we get from the expeditions, the adventurers, where you can build up up to 20, 40%. But if you guys don't have these ones and you're a newer player, 
this thing is actually really really nice so go for these things right here that's for our basically that banner that's going to come out this friday with the event now let's jump into the good good big news as uh, the white screen is being really really white 35 million download worldwide so yes the game has been downloaded 35 million times uh which is crazy so here's the thing that they're gonna give us uh to basically thank us for downloading and everything which is great so uh day one to day nine we were gonna get one uh ticket per day which is really good on day 10 we're gonna get a five star select summon ticket so which is crazy because I'm gonna go after so basically that's one five star select summon ticket on day 10 then day 11 to 17 we're gonna get one ticket per day and on day 18 one more five star select summon ticket which is great and on day 19 and 20 we're gonna get a hundred lapis which is okay it's not that bad but you know what I'll take it 200 lapis for free we'll take it so this is gonna start on Friday November 2nd and it's gonna finish on Wednesday November 21st so guys Take note of what's going to happen right now. So they're giving, giving out the, um, a total of 35 million lapis for free. So the way it's going to work, basically like, like we had for the uh, two-year anniversary, you're going to do an event in the Vortex. You're going to clear it and you're going to be eligible to be inside that uh, big raffle that they have. So once you clear it once, your name's going to be in the raffle and you have a chance to basically win these things right here. So 35 million dollars sweepstakes price so three people playing out of the 35 million are gonna get 350,000 lapis which is crazy good then 35 winners of 35,000 lapis there's gonna be 350 winners of 3,500 lapis and 90,000 winners of 350 lapis so basically there's gonna be a lot of us without any lapis but some people out there I hope it's you guys are gonna be lucky enough to get a lot of lapis which is crazy then during that period uh we have it right here so on friday the second all the way up to thursday uh the eighth we're gonna have the hidden vault uh vault of hidden treasures so you guys are gonna be able to jump in every single day to basically get some uh gill snappers uh some uh, mega site king metal cactuars and all this good stuff with some pots which is really really good so always do it don't forget every single day you guys can do it once all right so make sure you jump in and you do that then uh also the celebrity uh summon that's what they were talking about the tickets we're gonna have a five star uh increase rate to five percent which is really really good guys so instead of a three percent chance to get a rainbow you're gonna have a five percent chance to give to get a rainbow so uh, thank you, Gumi. This is actually really nice. So this is going to start, like I said, on Friday the 2nd, and it's going to go up all the way up to Tuesday the 27th of uh, November. Of November 27, sorry. So this is how you're going to be able to go to summons. Uh, you're going to go into celebra celebratory summons, and you're going to be able to use those tickets. Uh, I might keep all my tickets and do one big summon pool at the end to see if we can get any rainbows and it's going to make it a little bit interesting to see also one thing that they spoke about there uh, in their final fantasy brave exodus video update that they put on youtube uh they also said that they were going to give us a uh, free 10 plus one every single week for the month of november so let's see if this happens and hopefully it will happen so i'm just putting it out there that's what they said in their video uh that they released yesterday on their youtube channel then on the last one they updated they told us also when we will be able to get five star select summon tickets so obviously we will be able to get one uh, starting friday in the type zero event and we're gonna have another one on the 16th with another event that they are going to release probably a king mog event so uh if you guys count that's two tickets right here and it's gonna be two more tickets right here which is great so this month we should be able to get four five star select summon tickets which is crazy good guys thank you so much for watching this video please leave a like down below subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace